Good morning. What covenant is God making with those who are willing? Our reading today comes from Jeremiah 31, verses 31 to 34. Listen to this. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord, but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they all shall know me. From the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and their sin I will remember no more. God is making a new covenant. The promises in this covenant are not human promises to God, but divine promises to humans. God promises he will put his law in our minds and write it on our hearts. He offers to transform us by his power. He will forgive our iniquity and remember our sin no more. Well, how can this be? He gives us the gift of repentance and he transforms us and he is very able. Whatever he begins, he's very able to finish if we just don't interpose. So God is ready and willing, and not only that, he strongly desires to give you these gifts. We'll stop acting on our own tendencies to sin, our old habits of behavior, and we'll start acting in a different way because God's Spirit is living in our hearts. Now, we'll still have free choice, but we won't be exercising it into rebellion. So friends, as we commune with God day by day, hour by hour, and draw closer and closer to him, we will be in communion with him. We will continually choose not to sin. In fact, this might sound crazy, but we will actually stop sinning, not because of power in us, but because of power in him. And friend, I want you to know this is the new covenant promise. He will be our God and we will be his people. Kind of simple. It's a long-standing Bible plan. That's the plan of the covenant. He's going to show the universe that those who accept Jesus become changed people. Now, this was always his plan, but there was briefly a period where there was another plan, kind of a learning experience, where humans promised to God that, you know, whatever, everything you say, we will do it. And, of course, they crashed right away and failed him and and felt disgusted, and, and we had that disaster. This was back in Exodus 24 or thereabouts. Why did he allow that? Because God knew that people had to become aware of their weakness and aware and trusting of his power. Friend, on our own, we can only fail. But walking with Jesus, we have the privilege, yes, the privilege of continuous victory. Do we still often fail? Well, yes, we do. But you know what? The conflict between good and evil is accelerating. Right now, it's really increasing, and it's coming to an ultimate conclusion, a final day. That day may come very quickly. Where is your heart? Where is my heart? We need to Draw close to the Lord God of heaven. He's making a new covenant. Has he made that new covenant with you? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to draw close to you, the opportunity to be entered into this new covenant with you. It's not very complicated after all. It's very simple. Lord, help us to surrender so that you can write your law in our hearts and minds. You can put your law there. Help us to become more like Jesus. Oh, thank you for this precious gift. This is only available because of your goodness. And so, Lord, give us that gift, please, Lord. We ask for it because of Jesus' goodness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So remember, friend, as you go out into this day, Jesus is always at the center. He has the power. You don't. He's the one that wants to change things for us. And all we need to do is say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And he'll say yes back to us today. Go out into this day as more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. God be with you this day.